everyone now let's start our building project first we will start drawing our 2d building plan okay i took line command okay i need to turn on this ortho for right angle this is going to be our kitchen area we will give distances Our partition wall will be 5 inches and our main wall will be 10 inches. This is going to be an attached bathroom. As you can see, we, will, we are actually using offsets command. Actually, offsets will be very much you will be using. So keep it in your mind how to use that. Actually, I have made videos before how to use those commands. Go watch those. Okay. okay now there, there, there will be another room that is 13 foot so to do that first we choose offset give the distance 30 foot this from baseline to this line as as i said before our outer wall will be 10 inches so keep the distances 10 inches lines here our bedroom is actually 13 foot by 11 foot so take offset 11 foot this part is all 5 inches distance is like 11 foot 9 inches give partition wall from 5 inches another bathroom that is 5 feet 5 inches long another partition wall and lastly this, this will be our car garage that is 15 feet long and this is here will be our outer wall that is 10 inch okay. let's finish most of these lines okay. now make this person here kitchen plus dining actually the area is long take offset command that is 19 feet 9 inches now give partition wall and then the distance of 9 foot 7 inches give a partition wall 5 inches and here you have uh -huh. our stairs that is 6 feet so there will be our outer wall that is 10 that is 10 inches ok now close these lines Close this lines like this. If you now give our outside walls that is 10 inch offsets. Take those offsets or outer wall like this. Okay. Okay, now this is our this I think that outer wall is done. We need to join these portions to do that first select all those members 
type join or you can type j enter okay here also we will do the same first select the lines type j enter also here. Yeah. now we will fillet these edges to do that type fillet previously to do that fillet type f angle I, we want zero so type r zero and then choose angles actually if you want multiple angles at a time then first select fillet command choose here multiple then choose those members it will automatically fillet those edges like this okay so this is our basic uh, outer wall and partition walls done and now our inner wall we have to, com we have to complete those here our bathroom is actually 7 feet 5 inches long so take offset 7 feet sorry take offset 7 feet 5 inches like this and some partition wall that is 5 inches okay okay now now here we need to trim this lines okay to use that tr press space bar again click here click here and also we need to connect these lines with these lines so we will fill it fill it click here click here fill it click here yeah. and we have to trim these things tr Now we have to complete this bedroom. Our bedroom is 12 feet long. So take offset give distance 12 feet. Yeah, and give a partition wall that is 5 inches. Okay. Now we need to fillet this line with this line. So fillet this line also is this this line and this line and now we will trim those remaining portions trim 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 okay so here our bathroom is actually 10 foot 10 inches long so take offsets 10 feet 10 inches give distances and 5 inch so take 5 inches okay here also we have to use fillet like this like this and use else also we have to okay now use trim 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 and trim okay now we have done this portions now here now here here is our garage car garage that is 10 feet 10 inches 10 feet 10 inches and give 5 inches okay now trim these portions and this portions okay actually this actually this walls will be connected with this wall so fill it okay and it is this line to delete any object select object type e or it is and or space So this is our stair, stair should be 10 feet long, so offset 10 feet, 10 feet, okay, no. okay, now let's complete our stairs, so first we give our landing, that is that we take 2 feet, 
offset to fit from here and then we will give our steps here we use 10 inch steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ok we need to switch it now give some trailings we will offset this 1.5 3 inches both side like this and this now delete this middle line and we have to erase this middle which we will use trim so take trim command press space bar again and select those remaining objects like this ok now our stair is done we need to we don't need this wall to be that much long so we will actually now we will use stretch command select stretch select from this angle press space or enter select this point and from this point now close this line like this Actually, this is going to be our kitchen and uh, kitchen and dining place, and this is going to be our living room. Okay. Okay. This wall should be like little longer. So stretch these lines. Space bar. Like I want one foot. No, so type one foot. Actually, we will be we will have a door here so our door will be four feet long so let's check this distance let's give an offset so this will be our door this distance so we can stretch these lines these walls to this point so stretch select select objects this space bar ok here it is so I have to delete this one so we use trim command also this line and this line ok so now here will be our another door and we have to draw I will draw walls here so to do that take line command click on this midpoint take reference point from here okay our partition wall will be 5 inches so I will take offset about 1.25 both side yes. this first make a line with reference to this then offset about 2.5 inches both side so that's how we make walls from center of these lines okay now delete this line this line and trim this portion use trim space space bar again and click here like this and also I will close this wall okay now our um, plan is almost complete here we need to connect these lines so 
also you can do something like this just see select this line and it gives us three points mean midpoint and other like two edges so if we want to stretch this line you can click here and bring it to here like this okay now what we will do we will make some layer click here for new layer now we will make a layer called walls and we will give some color for our identification like choose choose some choose i choose this color okay and i want everything to be in that wall so select everything and choose walls okay now everything in our wall layer and make wall layer current click here to make that current layer but one mistake is that we don't want this layer to be in wall layer so what do you do first we will make another layer called stairs choose color I'll choose this color and select this portion and select stairs like this okay. so next we will learn how to make portions for windows and doors okay. suppose suppose we need to make doors here here and here and here so first make doors here okay. take offset command first we take take 3 inches from this side and then we take our wall and our door our door with this here 3 feet so give the distance and just take this line and now trim this area this also trim this object and this object this is post this is this is how we create our door openings now we have to make door openings here so same way take offsets take three inches first for our and then choose our distance that is three feet. Okay. Now make this line bigger so that we could trim easily. So, let's face bar again. Delete these lines like this. Okay. Now the remaining is here. So we, we will create a layer. We will create a door here. So just just give three inches for door frame like this and this door frame will be three inches above also so like this now delete this upper portion so to do that use stream command select those lines and also this portion okay. now check distance between these two points because I only want 3 feet so this is 2 feet 9 inches so 1 inches I need actually 3 inches extra 3 inches for the door so we will use smaller door here ok now everything is done uh, our all door openings has been done and here will be another door that is already created and here will be our garage door so first make a line inside and our garage door will be around 6 feet long so offset 3 feet both side 
later also here and trim these lines delete remaining portion the door is created and here this area will be our open baranda we'll make this baranda in 3d so okay now we have now we have created our door openings now we need to make the doors so 